accidentally knock over a half liter of acetone cleaning solution. The liquid splatters onto a working hot plate. Instant fire. What do you do? You act quickly, relying on common sense and a thorough understanding of your lab's emergency plan. Step-by-step -step procedures you know inside and out. Incidents occur no matter how careful we are. When they do, we have no choice but to deal with them. These are often the critical moments when lives and property can be at stake. So you have to know the correct course of action. This means how to clean up a toxic substance to limit the effects of a spill. Or pulling a fire extinguisher off the wall to combat a fire. Or it may simply mean sounding an alarm and leaving the area as quickly as possible. To help you deal with these situations, your laboratory has developed an emergency plan, which takes into account the types of incidents you could face. There may be sections on chemical spills and fires, as well as more unusual hazards like radiation or biological exposure. Natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods, and tornadoes will also be addressed. You need to get a copy of the plan and read it. There are lots of things we need to be able to do if an emergency occurs. We need to know how to activate alarms and have to be able to distinguish between the signals for each type of emergency if we hear an alarm ourselves. We should know what to do to alert emergency personnel if we need their help. And we have to be fully aware of the evacuation routes for our work areas as well as designated safe areas where personnel are to assemble after they evacuate.